The Malta national football team Maltese, Tim Nazjanali Tal football ta Malta represents Malta in international football and is controlled by the Malta Football Association, the governing body for football in Malta. The first official game played by Malta was a 2–3 defeat in a friendly against Austria in 1957. Their competitive debut arrived five years later, playing against Denmark in the preliminary round of the 1964 European Nations Cup. Since becoming a UEFA member in 1960 and a FIFA member in 1959, Malta have competed in every qualifier for the European Championship and World Cup, without ever making it to the finals of any major international competition. Topic History Malta played its first international game on 24 February 1957 at the Empire Stadium, losing 2–3 to Austria. That match was played in front of a capacity crowd at the old Empire Stadium. The Malta Football Association joined FIFA in 1959 and UEFA a year later. The international side first competed in the qualifying rounds of the UEFA European Nations Cup in 1962, and in FIFA World Cup qualification in 1971. Malta's first competitive draw ended 1 1 against Greece in 1970. Malta's first two competitive wins were victories of 2 0 and 2 1 at home to Greece and Iceland in European Championship qualifiers in 1975 and 1982, respectively. In 1979, Malta drew 0–0 with West Germany in a European Championship qualifier and they met again on 16 December 1984 for a memorable World Cup qualifier in front of a record attendance at the Teikali Stadium, where the 1982 and eventual 1986 World Cup runners-up only managed a 2–3 win. Another prestigious result was achieved in March 1987 when Malta drew 2–2 in Portugal, in a qualifier for Euro 88 and the side also twice drew against Hungary during the qualification for the 1990 FIFA World Cup, and recorded four friendly wins during 1991 and 1992. Malta's third competitive win came with a 1–0 victory away to Estonia in a 1993 World Cup qualifier in which Chris Laferla scored. In October 1994 Malta held Czech Republic 0–0 in a qualifier for the UEFA Euro 1996, in which the latter ended runners-up. Six years later, in October 2000 in a group qualifying match for the 2002 World Cup, once again Malta managed another 0–0 draw versus Czech Republic which eventually cost the latter a place at the following major tournament. In June 2000 Malta played England, then managed by Kevin Keegan. Trailing 2–1 going into the final minutes Malta were awarded a penalty, however David Karabat's effort was saved by Richard Wright. Through November 2001 and May 2002 Malta played and remained undefeated in six international matches and in between they won the locally hosted Rothmans international tournament. During 2005, Malta drew 1–1 against Croatia and Bulgaria. Another positive result was the 1–1 home draw in a friendly match against Northern Ireland, though George Malia missed an injury time penalty which would have given them a win. On of October 2006, Malta managed another competitive victory, a 2–1 triumph over Hungary in the European Championship qualifying with André Shembri scoring twice. On 7 February 2007, Malta drew 1–1 with one of the hosts of Euro 2008, Austria. The game was played to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the first international match played by the Maltese national team. On 8 September 2007, Malta managed another draw against Turkey in a Euro 2008 qualifying match, the game finishing 2 2. On 26 March 2008, Malta achieved its largest ever victory, a 7 1 defeat of Liechtenstein in a friendly at the Ta Kali Stadium, with Michael Mifsud scoring five goals. A 2–0 friendly win over Georgia followed in 2009. In May 2010, sponsorship of the Maltese national side was taken on by sportswear firm Giveva, who also designed a range of new kits for the team. One month later, however, the side had fallen to their lowest ever FIFA world ranking position, of 169th in the world. In 2009, Malta had a 0–0 draw with Albania at home. This was their only point for the 2010 World Cup qualifying. On the 11th of August 2010 Malta drew 1–1 at home against FYR Macedonia in a European Championship qualifying game with Michael Mifsud scoring a brilliant diving header for Malta in February 2011 the side achieved a 0–0 draw against Switzerland in which goalkeeper Justin Haber saved two penalties 
On 6 September 2011, Malta won their first Euro 2012 qualifying point, with a 1–1 draw against Georgia. During the years of 2010 and 2011, Malta did not get many positive results, and coach John Buttigieg and assistant coach Carmel Busiddle were both sacked in October 2011. For the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign, Malta won their first World Cup qualifying match in 20 years, nabbing a 1–0 win over Armenia in June 2013. In June 2017, Malta defeated Ukraine 1–0 in a friendly match, thanks to a lone goal by defender Zach Muscat. Topic: <laughs> Coaching staff. As of the 8th of May 2018. Topic: <laughs> Players. Topic: <laughs> Current squad. The following players were named for the match against Faroe Islands on the 20th of November 2018. Caps and goals are correct as of the 20th of November 2018 after the match against Faroe Islands. Topic: <laughs> Recent call-ups. The following players have been called up within the last 12 months. Results and fixtures Topic twenty eighteen Topic Records As of the twentieth of November twenty eighteen Topic Most capped players. Players in bold are still active, at least at club level. Players with an equal number of caps are ranked in chronological order of reaching the milestone. Topic Top goalscorers. Players in bold are still active, at least at club level. Competitive record FIFA World Cup UEFA European Football Championship UEFA Nations League Topic Mediterranean Games record Topic All-time team record As of the 20th of November 2018 positive record neutral record Negative record. Topic Managers. Topic Managerial history. As of the fourteenth of October, twenty eighteen. Equals equals FIFA ranking.